this is about 10 inches tall. I measured it. It's really like 11, but close enough. I want to fill this up with snow and show people that about 10 inches will melt down to, in theory, one inch if this is our standard snow 10 to 1. Are you okay with me doing that as a rudimentary experiment to kind of show people how snowfall ratios work? I think at least as a really excellent visual aid about how this uh, conversion okay. works, I think let's do it. So let's first look at the snow. Now, we've had about four and a half inches of snow at the airport. And if we pick up this snow, notice how much fluffier this is. Do you remember yesterday I could make a ball with the snow? And this, I cannot make a snowball at all whatsoever. It's really, really fluffy. So this is much easier to shovel than the heavy, wet snow. So that brings us to snow to liquid equivalent. There's a ratio. The average is 10 to 1, meaning if you get 10 inches of snow, it'll melt down to 1 inch. But if it's heavier and wetter, you only really need about 8 inches of snow to melt down to 1 inch of liquid equivalent because there's more water in it. But this, because it's so fluffy and there's less water in it, you might need 12 or 13 inches of snow to melt down to 1 inch of snow. So Dr. Nab, again, you're supposed to, you know, stick it in the snow like this and pull it up and flip it over. I'm just going to fill this up with our snow and I'll try to do it lightly so it's a, a decent representation, if you will, Dr. Nab. And then we'll melt this in our car and we'll see what it comes down to. And I'll let you know what the official measurement is to the top of that. So we'll be doing that for the next few hours here. Again, very rudimentary to talk about the uh, snow to liquid ratio. This is where we were up to. 10 inches, Dr. Nab, is about what it is. I measured it. And look, we're basically melted and we have about an inch of water. So just to show everyone that, again, all of that melted down to just one little inch of water. But I also want to reemphasize as a meteorologist, this is not the technical way to do it, Dr. Nab, but I think it's a great visual so people can get a gist. No, well done, Steph. I mean, that definitely gets across the key point, which is the amount of snow is not the same thing as the amount of rain and how high the snow piles up has a lot to do with whether it's heavy, wet snow or that yeah. colder air, light, fluffy snow that'll pile up even higher. So that's all about that snow to liquid ratio.